Tonight with the three big stories of the day that we are following and the first one is the war. The Israel Hamas attack attack that happened on Saturday. Well, tanks in southern Israel fired at targets in Gaza today. Part of Israel's retaliation for those deadly attacks six days ago. The terror group continues to fire rockets of its own, but as Israel's bombardment of Gaza rages on, officials say they are running out of supplies. Tonight, we're also following the saga related to the Speaker of the House vote and what stands in the way of an official vote. We'll be talking about that and also locally the sentencing of a man who pleaded guilty to shooting nine German shepherds. He was sentenced today in Crawford County. We're going to find out what he is facing. As we move to the main desk here, you see our Ariana Moyer. She's going to be talking trending news with us in just a little while. But right now, let's head to our nation's capital as Majority Leader Steve Scalise has won a closed door vote of his Republican colleagues to become the GOP speaker nominee. Now the full house still has to vote. At this point, Scalise does not have enough support to reach the 217 threshold. At least 10 Republicans say they do not support him. Scalise and others are working on the holdout Republicans, hoping to change their minds. Until a speaker is in place, though, the House cannot work on any legislation, including bills to support moment. Israel. House Democrat. One month behind bars. That is the sentence handed down by a judge today for this man, 22-year-old Skylar Martin of Cranesville. He is the man who pleaded guilty to shooting nine German shepherds. Seven died. The others were critically injured. The Cranesville man will also spend three months on house arrest and seven years of probation. He has also been ordered to pay almost $500 in restitution to the owners of the dogs and more than $17,000 to the Anna shelter to cover treatment for the surviving dogs. Martin had claimed he shot those dogs last year because they were chasing neighborhood kids in Springboro.